within the dome are stories. Within the stories are the hearts. And within the hearts are controversies. Graffiti. Graffiti has actually become a popular culture. Popularity is widespread like a burning bush actually. It's not a bad thing. Graffiti has become a popular culture that has been adopted in the society today. Graffiti and street art emerged in urban around early 1970s, most in large cities such as New York. It started off as ambu vandalism but quickly progressed into a unique form of art that requires a technical skill. It is vandalism. It is an appropriation of the public's space or somebody's private property without permission and nobody has a right to <laughs> Graffiti have grown and magnified by the media such as movies and social media. American movies have promoted the art with major actions done in backgrounds having graffiti paintings. The art have been adopted in Kenya and several streets most of Nairobi have shown creativity in drawing and painting. Nairobi City Service Matatis too have the paintings and communicate messages. For instance, during COVID-19 pandemic, graffiti art was used to communicate to the public on awareness of the pandemic and ways to keep safe from infection or avoid spread of the virus. The quest led us to Craig Mondi, graffiti artist who is also an alumnus of Moy University. He is located at Marvel few meters away from Edinburgh Plaza. He uncovers the controversial envelope. Uh, my name is Craig Omondi. I'm a former student of Moy University. So I did uh, language and performing arts, which involves uh, linguistics, media and communication courses, and film courses. Uh, theater courses, music courses, and literature. I am an artist, not by, probably by profession. Um, graffiti, I believe, lies in murals, in um, representation. You'd see those walls that are a representation of art. The first time I experienced graffiti was just visually. I saw graffiti first when I was in uh, Form 1, that was in uh, 209. Yeah, um, then it had some nuances surrounding it. Yeah, the bad, so I didn't quite embrace it as much. So I just came to embrace graffiti in 2016 when a friend challenged me to do a certain wall. Um, the, um, antagonist character of uh, Batman. Among the recognized graffiti and have a wide understanding of the art, he accepted the fact that it has captured the art industry around the world and compares it to the raging burning bush, probably that of Moses in the Old Testament. I think ad ad adequate graffiti to be like uh, a bird that has just hatched from its, you know, from its, the eggshell. Because it's still finding ways to fly easily and be free out there. So its acclimation is still not as wide as it should be, but we are approaching that level. So until you come to find out and do your research on uh, graffiti and its essence, then you'd find actually that it's not it doesn't just have bad in it. People are bad naturally, but graffiti is not bad. Graffiti paintings are mostly done on public walls in the streets and hence the name vandalism. The unique drawing and hidden language makes some people doubt it as the language for guns. <laughs> The talented graffiti artist Craig prophesied that in near future, the graffiti art will be widely known in the world and society will accept it as a version of art other than the negative perception. There is a point where graffiti will be so widespread, so widely acclaimed to a point where we won't just see its cons anymore, we'll just see its pros and uh, relate with it fully. Omondi has done amazing art for several clients around Moy University Center Stage. 
Thriller is a big client and the art is well exhibited in the walls. He also has several art that display his creativity. I use Instagram mainly, uh, Craig Otula. I use uh, Facebook sometimes. I use Twitter, but on a minimal. And I use uh, WhatsApp status as well. So those are the sites where I display my graffiti works. Graffiti is therefore popular culture, and its faster developments are alarming, threatening other forms of arts in the streets. My name is Wickley Falco.